we're just going to make a single view here and scrape on a map view and then drag on a button and then make a split view and drag in an outlet for the map view call it map view and scrape on an action for the button touch down I'm calling it funk f-u-n-c now I forgot to put the libraries in we've got to put two frameworks in a map kit and a location manager so let's add those location core framework core location those two are added in now now that's the code I'm going to use so to save time I'll just paste in these imports Now I scrape on um, a general object and assign it to the location manager in the classes here. There's one called location manager. Sorry I'm shouting in here because I'm in a coffee shop so I'll have to speak up a bit. Now control, drag that in and give it a uh, an outlet there. Now goes the M file. Scroll down to the bottom where the button function is, button method, and I'm simply going to paste in pre-prepared code, because I've tried it before, I know it works. So just paste that in. Now I've got to change the name of that method from my location to funk, which I forgot to do actually, but I'm doing it now. Funk. Then run it on the simulator. You can uh, set your, your location in debug, as I've just shown you. That always comes up, that message. And there we are, it goes to uh, the freeway, I think it is. Let's change it to some city cycle store in Cupertino. And that's where that is. So that's it, pretty easy. There's the code again. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, you need to put a bit, few more bells and whistles in this to make a good application, but there's the basis for you. Bye.